Hello, everybody. Welcome to the largest cultivated garden area, Hedley Park. This has something for everyone special. Let's go to visit the visitor center. Hedley Park is also one of the part of the Royal Botanical Garden, Canada. We will park outside the visitor center. Let's look at the key attractions of these gardens. There are rose gardens inside. There are 12 things garden areas. And also Dan Norio International Sculpture Collections and the Hedley Park Gates. Let's go inside to see. In this visitor center, you can find some information here. The maps. It's important to you. This is the shop inside the visitor center. If you really like it, you can enjoy the shops here. This garden has facts. The showcase has 1,495 types and 57,845 individual plants. It's a huge amount of plants. It's also 9 acres equals 22 acres. It's a huge garden on the back. This area is also the visitor center. There are a lot of things to do in this Royal Botanical Garden, Canada. The courses and the caps and the programs you can find on the website. There are a lot of school programs available. There are a lot of courses and the workshops, caps, early year play, children and the youth gardening programs, video field trips, youth programs, green angel subsidy programs. A lot of programs you can find on the website. Come to visit. Enjoy it. There are a lot of collections and areas of these gardens. Rose Garden, Morrison Woodland Garden, Helen M. K-Pop Garden, Lady Collection, Witch Village, Henry Gates, Saints Garden, Canadian Tree Introductions, Global Garden, Imagination Grove, White Garden, Healing Garden, Prehistoric Grove, Cherry Hill Tent, Rose Garden Tent, Trails, Tunnel to RBC Center. Let's try the tunnel. This is a wonderful tunnel. Everybody love to go. Go inside the garden, there's all kinds of gardens you could see. If you come to the scented garden, it's an adventure of Chinese flowering dogwood. It's going to lead you to the scented garden. It's a traditional stone walls, gravel paths, boxwood aiding and cooling. Let's go 
To see the global garden, each region of the world has useful plants deeply rooted in this culture. Plants native to the Pan American region sustained cultures and uh, civilizations. Many plants introduced to Europe now, as they were assimilated into the old world, these plants change cultures and economies and drive the first wave of the globalization. The garden compares and contrasts the useful plants of the old and the new world, reinforcing the messages that our lives depend upon a whole world of plants. The White Garden celebrates plants. The garden features plants with white flowers, berries. The central grass area provides a very unique place for relaxation, enjoying the beautiful around you. And if your time is right, listen to the light music in this garden. If you go to the trails garden, each summer, the garden provides the University of Gulf of Trail, new cultivated variety of annuals. The plant agriculture department received seeds from the plant breeders and produced seedling which uh, distributed the several sites across southern Ontario. They are planted and as they grow and are evaluated to see how they perform in the climate and the source. The Hedrip Gate surrounding the south and end of the center of the garden. The Hedrip Park Gates were constructed the reconciliation of the Hedrip family who previously owned this land on which the garden now sits. The gates are the favorite of the visitors looking for an iconic spot for a photo place here. In this zoo's garden, you could meet all kinds of zoos. The new zoo's garden features a very great display of zoos and the companies' plants intended to extend seasonal interest and keep these off bay. This area is for the garden club. Kids can join some events here. In this rich village, it's a display garden showcasing the many ways in which you can grow vegetables and home. The healing garden you can explore. In this garden, the connection between people and the healing plants from around the world, from traditional remedies to leading age drugs in the healing garden.
in the context of the garden, RB Garden defined a native species as one that was present in Ontario prior to the arrival of the European colonies in the 18th century. It's a long time ago. It's a tune-up season. I love this black tune-up. It's wonderful. There are a lot of surprises in this garden. You could find many plants you never seen before. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.